Oxnard day one was a success. And for what we can all see, of course, that schoolmaker with a catch. Brandon Cooks looking sharp. We need for him to step up, stand tall or not at all, right? And, and of course, uh, when we start thinking about even Trey Lance being in the mix, he's fighting for a contract. Dak Prescott fighting for a contract. Cooper Rush is fighting for a contract. These running backs, everybody's fighting. That's Dak to number 15 now. Just look him up if you don't know who 15 is. Then, of course, uh, John Stevens, he's fighting to get back out there, proving that he belongs. And watch this. Dak Prescott to Jalen Brooks, who had a phenomenal day, day one. Keep in mind, day ones are always crucial because it, it leaves like a first impression. But now you got to still stack these things together and continue to develop and, and, and just get one good day in front of, of, of another good day. Just Rico with a swing catch right there from a pass from Dak Prescott. And a little, little drill out to the edge here to Jalen Brooks from my guy Trigger Trey and then Flanoy. Ryan Flanoy, we got our eyes set on what he can bring to the table. Of course, we want him to stand tall too. And yeah, we need some help on the outside, especially at wide receiver. Good throw by Cooper Rush, and they count this as a drop. 83, high point the ball, but D. Barry was right there to get that ball up out of there. And he been getting some good praises from camp from what we can hear. And always putting in the extra work. I love it when I see this, y'all. 40 ounce, getting it going. Hunter, Lukey, yeah, keep doing your thing. And when we look back at all of this, we can say to ourselves, okay, all right, let's get it. And that's another angle of it, you know, the uh, deep pass to Jalen Brooks. Got to hold on to that one. But, you know, I'm team defense, and I love when our defensive guys make plays, by the way. And when we think of everything, where can his offense be second year as far as the installment from Mike McCarthy in this particular system? This year, everything should already be installed. We just need to see us play. And Michael Parsons, that's him in coverage, of course. Can he cover? Yeah. And that was just a, just the steel photo of him covering. But I, I, I just think that when we look at everything and we say, okay, on the offensive side, I think the offense was a little bit ahead of the defense today. Nevertheless, I, I, I can tell you, that the defense they're going through an installment situation or phase and i can't wait to see how all of this gel together remember no pads so a lot of people have no pad tensity no pad you know hey i got all of this confidence but when the pads come on that's when we really 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 would do our investigations on these guys on who can really be in the mix and who can really be in the uh, whole uh, thing as it relates to, to plan for this particular team heading into the 2024 season. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, be prepared. Let's look at this and say to ourselves, okay, day one, we got that out the way. Hey, day one of also without C.D. Lamb. Day one with also also without your, your, your guy that can really – level up this defense like a CD lab. I remember <laughs> CD, if he was out there, shoot, <laughs> them DBs going to have to make sure that they are super, super ready. However, this also means that Jalen Tober get more snaps now since CD is not there. Jalen Brooks get more looks. Jalen Monroe Cropper, <laughs> you know, everybody moves up a level. It may hurt the defense to a degree because they are not going up against the C dangerous lamb. Nevertheless, they are they are going up against guys who are trying to get their name out there, like the Jalen Brooks of the worlds and 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 the uh, Tobert, and seeing whether or not he he can be worth the grain of salt uh, of what we drafted him for. Now this rep here. Um, we're going to look back at it. And, of course, this is uh, my guy Hunter. But the offensive line rep, I just want to say this, that Chuma Doga being out there day one, first team reps, maybe just maybe from a mental mindset is to humble the first-round draft pick. 
you know, when we were live earlier, I was talking from the mindset of, hey, you drafted him in the first round. You put him out there. <laughs> There's no time to be wasting and saying, okay, he's not ready, so we give somebody else those reps. Well, you can only get ready by being ready, right, in getting in the spot to be ready. So the whole philosophy of not getting getting or giving Tyler Guyton the first team reps is, hey, I guess the only way I can take a look at it is from this perspective of, hey, everybody got to earn their ground that they walk on. That's the only way that I look at it. Uh, but neither here nor there, ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Cowboys Oxnard day one practice, not a game, practice is here. DC for life, not for sure. Let's continue to grind and shine. My name is Law Nation. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.